Hello, uh, I'm here with the first example problem in module number three, uh, example problem seven. Uh, seven, eight, nine can kind of go hand in hand. So it's very important once you get done with seven that uh, you follow directions because we you will be copying seven uh, and pasting it to, to then continue building on it for eight. And then eight, once you get done, make sure it's saved in your module three folder. I'll be asking you to copy eight. Uh, paste it, and then you would be building on eight to uh, uh, for 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 nine. So um, seven is built on to eight. Eight then is built on to uh, nine. So right now, if you did not get a chance to review the notes on the overview ADO, uh, please do so. If you did not do the pretest in in the assignment, do so before you start the example problem seven. Uh, you can find the example problem seven in the web resource in the notes. Uh, we're going to be I'm going to be dealing with the data grid data grid view. Okay, so if I flip over right now to module number three, um, and if I scroll down to the uh, notes on the data grid control, that's that's the example problem seven. I, I believe I had that already open here as well. So. Um, we're basically in the data grid. It's going to be using a the the data uh, section in the um, in the uh, Visual Studio's toolbar, and there's you you should be able to easily see that. But before I jump in that, I want to quickly review to make sure you guys have the program access on your computer because uh, there will be a download that you're going to be needing to download and it, and it is an access file. I'm not asking you to build the access file, uh, but it, there is a download in this example problem. So if I go down to my uh, search on the tool uh, taskbar and I type in access real quick and I'm asking you guys to do the same, you can see what populates op open on this, okay? I now uh, can understand and let you guys know, I now my, know that my machine has the access program. I'm not asking you guys to open it, but do this check. If you do not have the access program, you're gonna probably have to go to Office 365 and um, um, download that Office product. And that's, um, it's a free download since you are a part of the Prince William County uh, school system. So um, you can see the example problem seven starts here. I give you a little bit of open view and there's like one, two, three, four, and you keep going down five, six, uh, seven. There's a lot of windows you're doing. And, and, and theoretically, this is a program that you, you know, you're not putting many controls on the form, ba basically one, but you're actually trying to tie this table here that you can see to the access program. So if I go up back up, you can see step number three here, it deals with downloading. And so uh, make an effort, to, as you guys should know, that you're gonna download. If I go download, and, and I'll do it with you right now, and I go download, and you may get an error message or something, but it's gonna download into your download folder, okay? So if I uh, pop myself right into the download folder, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you should be able to see what I got downloaded here is, is credit right here. So uh, I'm going to then right click. I'm, I, I want to pull it and in, in do a right click menu, sub menu and, and copy. So I'm copying that file that's in the uh, desktop and I'm simply going to then go to my documents, go into uh, advanced program and you can see in the overview, if you don't have a module three folder yet, you need to make sure you have module three because the programs you're going to be doing this module three you know, we should be redirecting it. So if I go into module three, which I haven't uh, um, done all the programs, but you can see I actually have example problem seven. So I'm just going to right click right here and paste. So I, I know that program of, of uh, example problem seven is kind of nested right in the same location and inside the module three folder. If you feel like you want to go inside the example problem folder uh, and seven and, and put it in there, that's fine as well. Uh, but um, you very well may not have started the program yet, but the first thing you should be doing is working through to try to download this this program here uh, to get it in that module three um, folder so you can move in a direction and then uh, tie it tie it to this uh, table. So um, as I, I scroll down to step number four here, you can see you may you're going to have to open up the data tab. 
to create this uh, data grid view. So I think for the most part, uh, these notes are uh, somewhat uh, elementary. I don't think this is an overwhelming example problem. There's not much code and not much uh, controls you're using. The goal here as we get started is teaching you how to tie a control on a form to an access database. So um, if I just drill down to the very bottom here a little bit, you can see uh, there's limited, there are some um, global um, trying to turn some things on. So you may have to you know, enter, enter the code that you see here. We then have a public class of form telling you to rename it to credit. Uh, and then we have the, the form that we actually building a lot of the code inside the form. And then, you know, try to do your best to uh, have an exit exit button on this um, program as well to complete. So you get done, do the screenshot of the form, screenshot of the code, uh, call it uh, in a Word document, example problem seven, resave it to a PDF file and basically upload this example problem. So this should be the completion and you're gonna be uploading right here to Canvas. This should be the completion of, of working through the example problem seven.